Here's a good example of how police can handle threats to public safety. Rare bonger W. UK cops disarm man wielding a machete. Uh-huh. An amazing video for edged weapon training. London police engage... Dude, can you, can you imagine this happening in, in the United States? This guy would already be dead. All the people on the first floor of these buildings would already be dead from the fucking, like, collateral damage of the gunfire. Age with a distraught man wielding not scissors or a knife, but a machete. All oh, and I, and I want to be clear for fairness' sake, okay? If there's a guy swinging a machete at you, I think a cop has a right to shoot this guy. 100%. I, it is obviously ideal to take people in alive, but if a cop was like, he had a fucking machete, he was swinging a fucking machete at me, I think that's an A-OK -okay time to shoot somebody. So this is like bonus material here, you know? Captured on a smartphone from across the street. His ability to move is not completely obstructed by either the officers or by the vehicles, but he is more or less surrounded. <laughs> You can see the man passing around on the street or moving forwards and backwards, side to side, front and back. Each of them trying to continue to verbally de-escalate the situation over a period of time. It, you could probably say they've contained him without restraining That is wild. ...draining him. And they keep this situation going backwards and forwards for some minutes whilst other officers are bringing uh, what we would call uh, public order shields uh, to, the, to the location. And in a coordinated movement, they move towards him um, so that he, there's, there's no way he's going to be able to use that weapon or go anywhere else. He's, he's ended up placed on the ground with the use of the shields, the weapon's taken from him, and then he's stood up. And this is like when you use the spirit ashes in Elden Ring, when you summon those four, um, those four pale guys from the city of Nokron with the great shields. Handcuffed and detained. The incident ends with a man taken to hospital. Do you think that man would have survived in North America? No. No, he wouldn't have survived. That is correct. Not a shot in the world he would have survived. French police deal with a woman wielding a shotgun. Wow, 72k upvotes too. Why do you use old Reddit? Because old Reddit is objectively better than new Reddit. New Reddit wastes so much space. Dude, wait, did he... Did he... Did the owner of this property see the cop was trying to do a fucking flank maneuver and he was like, okay, dude, here, I'll unlock the gate for you? Is he, is this like a c f fucking civilian co-op? Holy shit. Yeah, you go, dude. Yep. All right, I hope. If that gun had landed a couple degrees more pointed that way. Yeah, sorry, lady. Oh. Did it go off? I, that was the shotgun that went off, right? I didn't see a flash, but what else would have gone off? Yeah, that was it. it there's just an audio desync. See, you can see the flash as it hits the ground. Right, yeah, see? That was close. That was fucking close, dude. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> oh, Lady, come on.
that cop took a real risk too, unlike a lot of American cops. Dude, that cop 100% risked his life there. Abso fucking, ta like, fucking tackling a person with a gun? Are you insane? Yeah, no, that's absolutely some Chad shit. 100%. Yeah. The cop Listen, I want to be clear, okay? I I'm a reasonable man. Caps have cops have no obligation to do that shit, okay? If somebody's holding a gun and you're a cop, I think it's fully morally permissible for you to shoot them, not to tackle them. Oh god. Um but yeah, this fucking guy, man. Vosh, you're so American brain. I'm so American brain for saying I think it's okay to shoot somebody who's holding a gun and like threaten. Dude, wait, is that America brain? It it's not like she was exercising her legal right to open carry like we have here in the USA. I mean, I assume given the situation, there was a guy with an MP5 back there that there was some kind of like standoff going on. A little? Wait, what? Wait, really? In other countries we de-escalate? Nah, dude, shut the fuck up, okay? You guys have no idea how many guns we have in the United States, all right? In every country around the world, if somebody is wielding a gun and threatening other people, the cops are absolutely legally and morally in the right to shoot them. Every country, I guarantee you. Um, 100%. Uh, no, there is no country where people would be like, dude, you shot the crazy person running around a residential area wielding a gun? What the fuck, bro? Like, it's, no, it's nowhere. Nowhere. It's just over here in the US, we have gun standoffs like 80 times a day. Europeans will only kill terrorists, not crazy people with guns. Dude, no, you guys just don't have that many crazy people with guns. We have way more of them because of the number of guns we have. Uh, a crazy person with a gun can at any moment... Guys, a person who is out of their mind holding a firearm can, in one third of a second, decide to end the conversation and just shoot you and everyone around you. If she, Admittedly, she had like what looked like a pump shotgun, but anyone with like a modern pistol at any point can just be like, yeah, I'm just going to kill eight people in three seconds. There's... It, the guns are very, very dangerous. <laughs> they are very, very, very dangerous. That's why people use them. Uh, a, a cop like committed to the public safety will absolutely like generally be okay with killing a person who's threatening people with a gun. I'm not saying they won't try to de-escalate if it's possible. I'm just saying that like if it doesn't seem possible to de-escalate them, did that cop have a gun on them? Did Axe Luminous Son, that cop we first saw had an MP5. This isn't just, oh, the cops have showed up, the SWAT team showed up. That van back there down the alley, this is, this is like a situation. <laughs> this is like a whole goddamn thing over here. Is this the wall tackle? No. It looks like she hit her head on the ground, which, you know, given the circumstances, I mean, she started to aim at him too. Yeah, look, you can see. She, she raised. Do you see that? She raised her hand. She was about to fire. See? Fucking got him. That's a break action shotgun, not a pump shotgun. Oh, okay. God damn, that's vintage. Why celebrate violence of this mentally ill person? I'm I'm more celebrating like the, the balls on the cop than anything. I mean, he was literally like a quarter second from getting turned into red mist there. Like it's a shotgun at close range. <laughs> it's, you you I assume this guy has a bulletproof vest on, you know. Odds, you can get some odds on surviving a pistol shot. I don't know about that fucking slug. Cop has Kevlar armor. I, I don't know how much you want to test Kevlar against a shotgun. Was she even using slugs, though? I don't know! It's a gun! Whatever. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> stop. Okay. Gee, oh my god. <laughs> what are we even doing here?